So here's what happens when uh, something goes wrong with some of your uh, gear like an iPhone or something and you live in a small town in Vermont uh, you have to drive a couple hours to New Hampshire uh, Manchester New Hampshire to get to a place where they can fix it and uh, that's what happened to my son's phone it's uh, broke so we're headed for Manchester so have you come along and show you the some of the sites along the way all right so first uh, we'll go just short distance there to Cumberland Farms across the street kind of and uh, go see Uncle ATM who's one of my favorite uncles always uh, happy to give me money for a fee there's a local Cumberland Farms there's a fitness store there ATM said to say hello. Looks like we got a little snow coming. Should be an interesting drive. Yep, feels like freezing rain. That's a good stuff. Oh, yeah. Liking that. Now, I don't have the microphone attached because because I forgot it. That's the main reason. And yeah, I'm having some transmission difficulties here, so this thing's a little shakier than usual. We'll see how much of this I end up using. Uh, kind of shakes the whole car. Problem with the torque converter. I think. So we're going down to pick up my son. Uh, he's got to have his camera before the iPhone, actually, before this coming. Is this coming? Oh my gosh, it is. This coming Thursday. Don't say anything you shouldn't. Not yet, not yet. Okay. Say hello, Blair. Hello, Blair. There you go. That's my boy. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to tape a little, or pour a little bit of this. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, uh, sorry, not, I was not to see it. Uh, oh, there it is. I got this at the dump today. Have you seen that? No. Well, they want you to... They got a bond issue coming up to... Oh, uh, yeah. fix the... What do you call it? Town hall. All right. I don't know if the mic works if I plug this in, but... Uh, doesn't matter. Well... Uh, I was going to show you the trip between here and uh, Manchester, but, uh, well, come find out when you plug in that uh, external power source, the mic goes off. And I thought maybe a two-hour video would be a little long anyway, so I cut it short. There's the map. If you ever want to go from here to there, that's how you get there. That dark blue line will do it, yeah. Uh, so anyway... <clears throat> uh, we uh, went ahead and got there finally down to the mall. And uh, once we got there, of course, we was in a hurry. So we sped up a little bit once we got there. Now, you might ask, uh, why in the heck would we bother to drive near two hours to, to uh, 
get his phone fixed. Uh, what's the big rush? Well, uh, he's a uh, freelance uh, illustrator uh, focusing on comic books, and he works specifically with Doctor Who right now. Uh, if you know who that is, great. If you don't, you can just say Doctor Who. Uh, anyway, uh, we got a, he's got a convention coming up in California, Long Beach. Uh, we're leaving Thursday. He's letting me come along with him because I help out at the table uh, selling stuff and so forth. So we're going to be there. There he is. He, we're going to be there at the Long Beach um, uh, Comic Book Expo uh, this coming weekend. And at the same time, they have uh, what's called a uh, Gallifrey One. Uh, and he'll be, uh, be at that. There's some of his work there. It's a cover he did. Uh, I think that one was Titan. Either Titan or Image Comics. He's done both. Uh, here's some interior work he's done and so forth. So uh, the, uh, the thing is, uh, those uh, rights are owned by the BBC. It's a British company. And so in order for him to uh, uh, do that kind of work, he's licensed by the, the uh, BBC to, uh, to do that. And uh, he's got to get, had to get permission from them through his publisher, which is uh, at this point uh, Titan Comics out of uh, Great Britain. So anyway, that's the deal. That's why uh, we had to get that uh, uh, iPhone fixed because he uses that to, when he sells stuff at his table. Uh, over at Gallifrey One, he's going to be on a panel and he's going to be uh, signing some autographs. Uh, there at the Long Beach Comic Expo, he'll be... Um, uh, he's got a, a table there and he'll be selling uh, artwork uh, original artwork that he's done and uh, uh, I think he's going to be he may even be on a panel there too uh, so it's going to be a, a busy weekend uh, we got a couple of friends out in California there near Long Beach and uh, so probably meet up with them while we're out there uh, so uh, we're leaving when, uh, Thursday morning and, uh, of course, that'll be an exciting time. I get to show you. I will show you. Now, not a lot of people get to see this. Uh, the very famous uh, Burlington, Vermont. Burlington, Vermont International Airport. Oh, yeah, it's quite the thing, I'm sure. Actually, I haven't been there probably in 30 years. But uh, I think they've got two gates. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So... Uh, We'll give you the details on that when we get back. Now, I'm going to try to post this on uh, either tonight, Tuesday, or Wednesday, certainly, because once we take off, I'm not uh, taking the computer with me, so we'll have to uh, wait until we get back from California, which will be sometime next Tuesday night. And uh, at that point, we'll be able to uh, uh, maybe post some some things Tuesday night, probably Wednesday, if I get around to it, because I'll I'll probably have over seventy thousand hours of, of uh, videotape. I'll have to cut down to as short as possible. Speaking of as short as possible, I think this is as long as needed. So we'll sh call this one now, and uh, we'll head uh, head for Burlington uh, in a couple of days, and we'll see what develops.